And welcome back. What's better than a full slate of hockey over at Ams Oil Arena? Well, obviously nothing. Today, four semifinal boys hockey games will be completed by the end of the day. And we have, of course, those first two for you. To kick off the day in Section 7, Double A is the fourth-seeded Rock Ridge Wolverines taking on the top-seeded Grand Rapids Thunderhawks. We start in the first frame. Seth Carlson takes a shot, but Rory Cope Robinson's stick will keep it from getting in. But then it's Nathan Garski who shovels in that loose puck, and just like that, the Thunderhawks race out to a 1-0 lead. Same period, same score now, and a puck from Bauer Murphy gets tangled up in front of the net. Kyler Miller will be the one to find it and roofs it for Grand Rapids' second goal of the day, and they get a little too excited on that celebration right there. And the Thunderhawks' energy would only go up from there just two minutes later. Gavin Forrest will put away the rebound from the faceoff circle. Grand Rapids takes a 3-0 lead into the first intermission, and they would go on to add three more before the Wolverines would find their way onto the board. But it was only two goals, not matching up with Grand Rapids 6, and they'll advance to the section championship with that 6-2 win over Rockridge. And on the other side of the bracket, a rematch of last year's section final between Andover and the Duluth East Greyhounds. We pick it up in the first on a Huskies power play. Point shot from Landon Stringfellow, great name, gets deflected in by sophomore Keaton Coe. And Andover races out to that early 1-0 lead. And then we go to the penalty kill, but it's Crosby Perry who sprung on a breakaway. Greyhounds goalie Cole Cronset is there to make the save to keep it a one-goal game for East. Now to the second frame we go, and more of the same from Andover. Brooks Cogswell lets it fly, and senior captain Ben Dahl is there to tip it in past Kronstadt. Huskies now up 2 to nothing. And then we'll jump to the final frame. Duluth East needing a spark, but Huskies goalie Cal Conway was solid between the pipes all game long, making 29 saves on the afternoon. And then as time ticked down, Dahl is able to scoop the puck in the neutral zone right into the empty net to seal it. He completed the hat trick with that goal right there, and the Huskies advance to the finals with a 4-1 win over Duluth East. They'll take on Grand Rapids on Thursday night from Amsoil Arena with a trip to the state championship on the line.